Well, I'm, I studied architecture at Scott Sutherland, um, and as part of that, you do a year's placement in the middle. So I, I was lucky enough to get to a uh, practice in Sydney, which was a bit of an eye opener for me and a uh, real experience. Um, I was able to focus on heritage architecture there, which is quite a specialist uh, subject. And it kind of gave me a load of confidence coming back for masters at, um, at uni. And from there, after graduating, I've worked in a real variety of sizes of practices in Aberdeen. Um, going from small practice to a housing developer for three years and now at Campbell Architecture where I'm able to focus on design for people with additional support needs, whether that's autism or other uh, learning difficulties as well from kind of childhood right through to old age. Um, that's something I studied as my master's in uni as well, so it's something I've been trying to focus on for, well, basically since I graduated, so great to be able to do that now. Well, the reason that I really wanted to participate was um, to be able to give something back to the university in a way that I felt I didn't really get when I was going through. I think it was a great course, but the one thing that was lacking was getting that real experience in practice before you had to go out on placement. I was fortunate enough to do some work experience with my uncle, who's an architect, and that meant that I got kind of lay of the land before even deciding to study. But without that, I don't think there really was the same level of engagement from professionals in in the area, which I think, obviously there's plenty of people willing to do that, so I'm glad that this pilot's kind of been as successful as it has. I thought it was great. Um, for a pilot especially, it was really well managed and it was excellent communication between the people running it and, and us as mentors, and I think that f flowed through to the mentees as well. They were able to contact us with anything. It was very flexible. So um, I don't think it, it interfered with their kind of studio projects too much and they were able to get a huge amount from just seeing the variety of different practices on show. Our first meeting was a kind of informal discussion at the, the campus, which was a really good icebreaker, which meant that they could show us their design project up to that point. And I made a point of taking along some equivalent projects at, that we're working on to the same kind of design stage. So it meant it was a kind of removing any barriers that we had or they might have felt we had in terms of relatability. We were able to kind of humanize ourselves from big bad architects and you know just a, a few years ago or quite a few years ago in some people's cases we were doing the same as them. So from there we kind of chatted through things, we showed, showed them the process of getting a design built, just talked through it and followed that up with a meeting in the office. Um, they were able to quickly meet the rest of the team and had a sit down around the table and showed them some different projects that we had going on. And we're lucky enough that we're able to link one of those at the kind of design drawing stage through to the construction drawings. And then in our next meeting, we actually visited the site, which is just over there, which is always handy. Um, so they're able to see a real kind of run through of how the project went from that initial design drawing with photo visualizations and montages and things like that, right through to the construction detail being built, which and I know if I was a student, I would have thought it was great. And the, based on the feedback we got afterwards, the students, they loved that. And was just able to really relate the process. So yeah, that was great. I think the main thing is just seeing that what you're doing at such an early stage of your uni course actually relates to the type of stuff you'll be doing in practice as well. Because it initially you kind of feel like maybe, oh, why, am I, why am I bothering doing this? How does this relate to designing a building? Actually, some of the tasks can be quite abstract at first year to get you familiar. Um, but meeting, meeting someone in practice and seeing the variety of work that's done and how relatable it is, I think is really good. Hopefully, gives them the drive to do a bit more research and get more interested in the subject as well. It's rewarding because it's, it's it doesn't take up a huge amount of professional time. Um, we're able to kind of critique what it is we do and why we do it. There may be one or two things that we, as we're chatting through a project with them, go. It's maybe not 
the neatest way we could do things. It just makes you question yourself as well when you've got to run through things with people and it's great to keep that relationship with the uni as well because as I said I, I really enjoyed my time there and it's good to feel like I can contribute back to the students that are coming through.